What's up, how y'all doing, man? This is Ocean Adventures here. We got a new boat. I want to make a quick video, show y'all this boat I got, okay? This is going to be the Tesla boat, all right? It's going to be solar powered, all electric, freaking intercontinental ballistic fishing boat, okay? This is the best of the best. It's a homemade aluminum boat right here. Let me show you. Got two holes. We're gonna put a lot of stuff in this boat. It's gonna be for going over big oceans. It's got a cabin on it. It's got a spot for some windows. Look at this sucker right here. Look, it's got a place for two big old motors and stuff. Jesus. Making your way to the top side, you see we have like an ample room in the back for fishing. It's got a door. That's what it matches. Stabbing cabin. So I'm thinking about I kind of like it would have if I had a bed right there. See that? And then of course over here I'm going to be installing a new Sea Star helm with a steering wheel and the hydraulics. Hydraulics are going to go back here to the engine. All right. I we'll also have to install a chart plotter right there. I'm thinking about using a Garmin chart plotter. Now, the main reason I want to make this video today is maybe I need somebody to like sponsor me. You know what I mean? If you've got something that you're selling for boats and you want to put it on here, I can make a video on how to install it. So let's go check it out down here. This is gonna be the kitchen area, a cooking area, or whatever you want, making coffee. You're gonna have a sink right there, and you're gonna be able to clean the, the coffee, you know, and then drain it overboard somehow. It's hard to make it out, but this is the bath bathroom area right here. It's a little short. That's the little area for the 30 gallon water tank. There could be a toilet right there. And then maybe in the top we could possibly put some kind of showering device. But the main problem with this area is going to be to enclose it and make it waterproof if we're going to make it into a shower area. So leave me a comment down below if you know how I can make this into a little shower or what you think I should do. The designer, the original designer of the boat had said there won't be a shower inside the boat but we put a shower on the back. And I kind of like it to have a shower in here and also have like a little water heater. So in the comments below, if you know what kind of water heater or what kind of shower system I could hook up in here, uh, leave a comment, you know, we recommend any kind of pumps or a water heater. I need a water heater and I also need a shower head to, to hook up in there. So that'll be a freaking lot of work. Okay, so directly across from the bathroom, we've got a little bunk area that'll be a little bit midship. Okay, this is the bunk area. Okay, so then over here on the other side of the kitchen, we had access to the forward bed area. I don't know exactly what you would call that. We're gonna install some windows right here. We're gonna install some kind of siding or maybe vinyl flooring uh, to cover the ceiling area and the walls and we'll put more insulating foam and in all of this and then we're going to cover it all up with some kind of uh, plastic board or whatever but yeah that's it it's a freaking nightmare y'all this is what i need the main thing i need here is autopilot I need an autopilot to go in here somehow or possibly in the back. I need an autopilot, steering wheel, and a fish finder. All of that stuff will be located right here. Wow, that's amazing. So this is the motors I'm gonna put in it right here. These are Yanmar diesel engines right here. This is the outdrives I wanna put on it. 
Now at any time I could switch this over and turn this into an outboard boat. But for right now, I wanted to try it just one time, run it with a freaking inboard diesel and see how I like it. I think this will be an interesting project. I'm gonna be able to hook all this stuff up. So if y'all got any hints or tips, tips or advice on the hooking up of these motors, I look forward to seeing it in the comments, you know? Tell me like, you know, if you see anything that's out of place or whatever, or, or you have any uh, advice from a boat like this that you've owned, I know I hook up the water right here, I hook up the gas right here, and then I'm gonna hook up a plug right here. Here's a plug right here, plug that into something, and boom, it's gonna have lightning bolts shooting out of it. Yeah, this is it. Yanmar engine. So here we're gonna have an anchor. It's gonna be a little bit of room to fish with. That's it, y'all. If you wanna see something done to this boat, or you got some ideas for what I should put on it, this is a new project. I'm gonna be hooking this whole thing up, putting new rod holders, putting engines on it. I'm gonna put, you know, pumps, wires, painting it. If y'all want to help me out, man, click the like button and subscribe to my channel because I'm about to go to work on this thing and you ain't going to believe it. When we get done with this boat here, we're going to take it and go catch some yellowfin tuna, some bluefin tuna, every kind of tuna. If I ever finish this boat, best believe we're going to get some tuna in it.